Hi babe, so I'm so sorry if some of the audio on this is bad. I'm really sorry, I thought it was good. I edited it, it was fine. And as soon as I uploaded it, it sounded so weird. I think it's the new microphone. So I'll try and work hard and fix that before the next video, which will be super soon. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Tap that notification bell to see more of my videos. Smash that subscribe button. And I hope you guys enjoy my collection, my makeup room, my beauty room. And this is the rest of the video. Make sure to watch part one before this so it makes sense i love you guys and i will see you in my next video go follow me on instagram for makeup looks daily i will post a link down in the description and yeah enjoy got it this is the 3502 palette true youtuber writes all the names in the thing for my videos one fell out which was really sad um when i got it but yeah this is the 3502 palette so next in our morphe palette stash is the 35f palette so I'll just open this bad boy up Ooh, felt one second this is our old school palette love this palette reminds me of autumn winter loads of beautiful shimmer shades that i use for highlight the top row um, in particular love this palette and i'll always keep these palettes just really like them i love the idea of having a bunch of colors in one i was so excited about makeup when i saw the coastal scents and the morphe palettes this is the 250s palette i just thought it was amazing to have all these colors in one palette as you can see i just love that one as a highlighter so many beautiful shimmers i know it annoys people like a whole palette of shimmers but i think it's really handy when you're doing a warm tone look have a whole palette of shimmers just to go with it so i'm just sliding them in the back i still use them now i haven't used them in a while but that's because i haven't had my beauty room now i have everything in one place i'll be more likely to use it so this is the 35b palette oh my god i whacked uh, why did i do that back to my new camera why am i so fucking clumsy man so one sec i'm gonna have to put you down so this is the 35B palette. These are so hard to freaking open. I love this palette. It will be my OG colorful palette. Love this shade particularly. Just love it. Before I had any of the Beauty Bay Identity palettes, before I had the Stacey Marie ones, I loved these ones the most. So let me check. Oh, this is actually a Lick and Lash Beauty palette. I really love Lick and Lash Beauty and I'll definitely get more of their palettes. I'd recommend you them. They're really cheap. 35D, very affordable and very good quality. So I feel bad because I'm at a whacking my poor camera. I'm so clumsy, I need to be careful because this is new and it was expensive. <sighs> is it okay? I'm just checking. <sighs> it's okay. So this is this palette here, really nice, similar to the 35B palette by Morphe. Love this palette. So this is the like a Lash Beauty palettes. I really recommend their palettes. Another Morphe palette, this is the 24 um grand glam palette the outside is so beat up <laughs> this is a really big pans these need to be cleaned i apologize but these are all of our warm tone shadows i really like them these this is a good palette but i don't really reach for it as much as the other ones have all the shades here um now the last two morphe palettes i'll put you down for a minute i think they're morphe no another lick and lash beauty palette and this fella is it doesn't even say a name on it <laughs> these are easier to open sometimes so let me open them. there we go oh my god it fell <laughs> what it fell off it hasn't been opened in ages so these are some glitters at the bottom and some colorful shades in fairness these are cheaply made i mean but they are so handy for like a makeup artist on the go somebody who hasn't got like i mean you don't necessarily when you're building your kit have the money to be buying like really expensive palettes like buying the huda beauty palettes or anything like that you need something with a lot of colors for like a good price so that's like a beauty and morphe the last morphe palette that we have is the 35p thank god because my back is so sore so this is a beautiful palette full of purples and mauvey colors love it Whew. god that is a lot of palettes so these this is just my palette drawer with my big palettes i have a bunch of other things that are literally like small palettes <laughs> just slide them bad boys back so besides whacking my new camera and nearly dying 
we're into the next drawer so this drawer actually has opened but it usually has the foundations these are just spare ones and most of my foundations are in the basket sometimes it doesn't open like look what's well, actually opening for once shock so the next drawer is full of palettes again these are more drugstore palettes there is some that aren't so we have the beautiful kaylee urban bible palette this is such a beautiful palette i really should have got my girlfriend to help me film these videos are so hard so guys this is where my girlfriend takes over filming for me because it was going so badly so she filmed me yay okay so next we're gonna show you guys my girlfriend helped me film so this is is it focused is it okay yeah this is a so sue by suzanne jackson suzanne jackson suzanne jackson and kaylee mua urban bible i should have probably i've only used this like for in a video and a couple times myself but it's a really beautiful palette it's all focused yet yeah. is it okay yeah so um yeah this is a really nice palette so next we have our juvia's place palette i have the i like to, this is called the the douche or the douche it's a funny name and um i'm such a child so this is by i love the juvia's place palette it's so pigmented haven't used this as much i've been neglecting it the color story is kind of confusing but i do like it but yeah it is nice you could reach into these this row really easily looks really nice for some looks so i love the way they're like they close like that magnetically and they're just really easy to clean because they're plas the plastic and stuff this is the zulu by juvia's place the art on these is so beautiful and obviously these are for um design for beautiful medium to deep skin tones for the pigmentation to show up obviously anyone can use them but this is a black owned brand and it's really important and it's just really really good um quality so this is the palette here love these palettes look at the deep oh it's so beautiful and um, these are really easy to clean sorry it's a bit messy but i really dug into that purple i just think they're so pigmented and um, nikki tutorials i first heard about them from her and she's really good so the masquerade mini by juvia's place you can get a big version of this so i just got the mini the big version would have been a bit excessive for just me so we have some beautiful shades i've used this palette to death like the colors is it okay mm -hmm. it's so beautiful so next is the saharan this is really good for like if you're a makeup artist if you're doing kind of shimmery i know there's more shimmers but if you're looking for like kind of a simple palette this is really good then this is my one of my favorites it is the magic palette love these never regret buying them they have really good sales on their website and on beauty bay and i always get them so this is a magic by juvia's place now this needs to be cleaned but it is really nice like look at the colors so pretty loads of shimmers and yeah the pans are huge love that nana is one of my favorites and kaisi kessie nubia is nice as well so um yeah so back here we have a morphe palette i haven't really used that much this is the 25a more of the new type of morphe palettes i definitely i have all look i have all the list of stuff for videos i'll have to use this more i just kind of found the new formula of some of the shadows i'm covering an eyeshadow to be a little bit chalky some this palette is a slightly bit slight bit chalky than the old palettes that weren't as packed down and there was more fallout but there was more pigment and i kind of prefer that this is good i mean if you want like a beginner palette but it's not really something that catches my eye i prefer colorful stuff kind of colorful stuff palettes so right we'll get into the makeup revolution this is a soap extra spice palette not the first soap palette but the second one i think look at this like this is a really nice palette i love 22 obviously reminds me of taylor swift 22 just such a good neutral and warm tone palette like this could go from um daytime evening and nighttime looks you could get so much out of this and the price is amazing love how they have the shades written on it as well so this is the Roxasaurus Color Burst Palette. My girlfriend got me this. I like this palette. Haven't used it too much. There is some really pretty shades. And some of it is a bit chalky. But I will get into using it more. Um, and yeah. What are you laughing at? <laughs> oh my god. Um, so this is the Roxy Palette. I like the packaging. So the Tammy Palette by Makeup Revolution. Tropical Paradise. I love Tammy's videos. I actually 
like they're such a treat to watch it feels like you're giving yourself a chocolate bar and a treat like she's so entertaining and so funny and her videos are just like so good they're really quality really good quality the only thing i don't like is the way it's laid out but otherwise it's just me nitpicking it's a really pretty palette um really nice shades this is the original soap palette love this palette this is one of my favorite palettes all time drugstore or high end so really really like it so this is so pretty like I've used this so many times the colors are just beautiful it's so soap this one is called cup of tea <laughs> love it and yeah really like it so this is the imagination palette by you know imogen off youtube and i haven't used this too much again i don't like this layout this is what kind of turns me off it but it is a nice palette like it's a very pretty palette for like you got your daytime to evening look so i must get into this more huns that's so funny and baby girl <laughs> so so um, the Emily palette, the Needs palette, um, so again, very weird layout, but it is nice. I just don't really see myself reaching for this as much, but I really need to get into using these palettes more. Just don't really like the layout, kind of throws me off. I know it sounds silly, but I love the pink packaging, baby pink. Now Carmi, the Kiss of Fire, I love Carmi, he's so cool, he's so good, I love his makeup looks. So, um, he's such a fun person as well. These are highlighters and these are like the colorful shadows. I'm more drawn into this type of a style of palette. So now these palettes I don't really use. This is the Mermaid Forever Ultra Eyeshadows. Again, it's just so tiny that I never, never use this. I just have it in my collection because it's pretty, but I don't, I don't use it. Um, so this is the Take Me um, Back to Brazil. There's a Take Me to Brazil palette. This is the Take Me Back to Brazil. <laughs> I've never been to Brazil. I want to go. So this is by BH Cosmetics, 35 color pressed pigment palette. BH Cosmetics is amazing. Look, look at the packaging. So good now this is also in small circles but the pigmentation is there which would make me want to use it more i love this green shade as you can see i tend to gravitate towards my favorite shade in the palette and really hone in and stick to that one which is kind of funny so now we have another ultra 32 eyeshadow this is the one i already showed you um next we have our inglot palette i love inglot palettes this is the freedom system palette and i just picked my own shades i really like inglot palettes like like oh these shades are just stunning i must use this again i love big pans like this one is missing i don't even know where it went but this is just beautiful i bought them individually and built it up and this is so perfect for autumn or winter again if you're a makeup artist inglot is very very good and their prices aren't too high for like palettes and stuff now this one here doesn't have any name i don't really like the packaging but this is i yeah this is makeup obsession but the only thing is the shades have a name which is cool it has a big mirror but the mirror is not really good it makes you kind of feel distorted but no i hate i just don't like this layout but it is a beautiful palette and i must test it out in a video and i don't really, i like the this type of the marble but it's just like a weird i don't know style so next we have another morphe palette this is the 15n night master palette and this is a really pretty palette actually i need to use this more i really do it's really nice so great for traveling as well and this is my this was 12 year old <laughs> life on the dance floor guest list palette i've given some of these away but this palette is so beautiful like if you can't afford like say an inglot palette then this is a really good alternative it literally only cost me 12 euro now this was a palette that i got as a gift this is a profusion face palette i like this palette but i haven't actually used it yet this is a there's different shadows again i'm not really into the layout but it is a nice palette the highlighter and bronzer i definitely use so i must actually use this palette i just don't like these kind of chunky packaging type palettes oh my god the drawer is literally broken at the back it's weighed down by the palette so it's it's fallen <laughs> So next we're gonna go into our P. Louise palette. So I love my P. Louise base, I love P. Louise products. She's just an amazing entrepreneur and her packaging is to die for. This is a really beautiful palette. We have all the different shades and we have um, Prin and Slay. These are like the shimmer shades. Really like this palette and I love just the skinny packaging. Very easy to store as well. So next we have, oh, I have a cramp from being on the floor. Um, so we have our Huda Beauty palette. Now this palette cost me 65 euro. It was my most expensive palette besides some of my Jeffrey ones. This is the Desert Dust palette, but I really think that the packaging is so beautiful. And oh, the logo now, although some of um, 
like I don't know some of the palettes are, are nice and some of them aren't but I really do appreciate the packaging on each palette Huda's eyes look amazing and oh, it's a bit messy but this is a gorgeous palette I have used it I'm not mad about this kind of glitter at the bottom but I do love the rest of them Twilight one of my favorite shimmers like look at that look at this retrograde oh just a really pretty and blood moon is so soft i've even got my girlfriend to feel that shadow before and she was like that is so soft such a weird thing but it's a very beautiful palette and i must use it more the price is extortionate though but yeah so this is carter beauty um by sweet apricot palette 18 shades i tested this for a video this is an irish brand i hate i hate um the purple packaging i don't know why it's just kind of it's just because every palette is different it just throws me off and makes me feel like it's like a sweet team i know it's like a good gesture but i just don't like the packaging but it's just packaging it's the product that counts not the packaging and this is a really pretty palette so i'm not shading it i do like carter beauty i do think it's a really beautiful brand just don't like the packaging i gotta be honest i love the way it's see through and you can see the colors so now this is the um makeup revolution water sign these are the sign palettes so this is pisces cancer and scorpio i'm a scorpio i love water i'm a water baby scuba dive swim so i really like this palette it's all shimmers though so that can kind of throw you off but if you pair it with a matte palette it would be nice so this is the revolution pro palette love this palette was upset that ringleader fell out when i got it and believer is gone it showed up to me all damaged and it wasn't the fault of um makeup revolution it was the people who were shipping it like the people who are currying it to the door and um, this is the regeneration trends mischief matters um and these are this is a very pretty palette can you still see um this is nice and now over here we have the revolution pro palette another palette here which is are you okay this is a beautiful palette very shimmery though but it is a lovely palette love to see through any palette that's see through and you can see the colors i just love it so um makeup revolution life on the dance floor sparklers palette a really pretty palette i will warn you guys that if you have these alex drawers and you have palettes in them like look at the back of the drawer it has weighed the drawer down at the back because it's literally so heavy so just be careful it can break your drawers over time so this is the rose quartz palette by primark and it's actually a beautiful palette and it actually performs so well which is like so good because some of primark's palettes like the shimmers aren't great though they're just cheaply made but some of the palettes are really good like but so that is a nice palette this is another inglot palette oh this is explains where some of my other shades have gone <sighs> so <sighs> This is a palette that I built on the bottom. I love the way you can just build these palettes. You can put bronzers, you can put whatever you want into them. I'll just kind of fix them because they're annoying me. I used to use these when I literally couldn't afford, like, like I could afford, like I didn't have a big collection of highlighters. I used to just get Inglot shadows and use them with highlighters. Really good option. And I really love the palettes and how they're magnetic. So handy. And I feel like they're really kind of nice to you in Inglot. Whereas when you go into MAC, they're, the staff is quite rude a lot of the time. I don't go into MAC because of that. Not all of them, but just some of them. Must have eyeshadow shades. Um, this is just a miscellane one. I've only used this for a video one time. And I don't believe it was that good. So I don't know why I have it in there. This is the Makeup Academy. This is one of my first ever palettes. So I'll never get rid of this. MUA Makeup Academy. They're not even around anymore as far as I know. So an og palette love that so that is our palette drawer so i'll take you down to the next drawer ignore the mess on the floor and this is just a bunch of like makeup revolution highlighter palette this is the precious stone rose quartz palette pretty and i'll just swatch if them for you very very pigmented i'm just wiping them on my pants because <laughs> i don't even care so next is the makeup revolution ultra cool glow palette love this this was literally my moon child by anastasia beverly hills this is a cheaper version of it i have both of them and um, this one is not good like i lit this is the ultra pro glow by makeup revolution it just wasn't as pigmented like i had to scratch the surface now if you scratch the surface you'll get the pigment but otherwise like it wasn't great at the top layer was very hard to get through but i'd still use it and um, this is the um island escape four shade highlighter palette by pennies primark very pigmented very nice palette like what so so nice so um yeah then over here we have 
we have like we have so many palettes in here we have the og palettes we have the makeup revolution pro um supreme highlighter gold palette and the the ice palette so like fire and ice type of thing and yeah obviously the ice i wouldn't use as much but the other one i would so this is living my best light this has been beaten to death my beauty base such a beautiful palette this is the shade charmed so pigmented this is shine bright wait i have to get in there then this is strobe and radiant now these kind of feel wet but i noticed that's why because they feel so wet and they're actually matte they're not wet they're powder they actually are so pigmented so if <laughs> you slowly go onto the floor so um makeup revolution pro 4k highlighter palette in rose gold beautiful palette like oh look how pigmented that is look at that like really recommend this i don't even know if they do this anymore i'm sure they do sell it still i love the magnetic closure then we have my favorite highlighter palette ever from the drugstore is the makeup revolution soap palette i really love this palette like the shades are so pigmented like can you not like how is this so good so um yeah so did an amazing job at everything she does she's definitely a perfectionist she gets everything great this is the platinum ice i haven't used this as much by jeffree star but it's such a pretty 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 palette and um this is the moonshell by anastasia of beverly hills this was so expensive i think it was a bit less than 50 euro very expensive and i've not used it that much but it is a beautiful palette but it's very expensive. So this is a PS Havana palette. I like this, this is from Primark. I like this, you have to scratch the surface to get them good, but they're actually good when you use them. Then the Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette. I have the big one somewhere, I thought I did anyway. I think I've lost it, I don't know where it is. It was the big one of this palette. I haven't a clue where it is. But these are the highlighters and the eyeshadows are really pigmented. So let me just um, put some of these guys back i'm gonna put some of the ones that i want to use more to the front because i obviously haven't been using them all which is my self palette again because i've always used that i always travel with that and then i put the kylie carly bible palette at the back there so the last drawer is is just like a z palette with a bunch of stuff um a bunch of sugar pill and we have a makeup geek contour <sighs> we have this beautiful brand here that i will link down below because i currently cannot remember what they're called but they're amazing and um yeah you okay so what three minutes left oh it says three minutes left i don't know why so this is the blush and glow palette and um, the battery's gonna die sorry guys so this is highlighters we have a makeup revolution blush dream palette um we have a bunch of makeup obsession dedicated highlighter palette love this very pigmented palette this should be in my highlighter section so i'm just gonna put it there um and this is the give me some sun bronzer contour beautiful palette i'll leave that out to use more often and we just have a bunch of other things some we have the Micellin Chocolate Brow Duo and some Makeup Revolution, a really beat up one, but it's great for eyebrows. So that is all of our makeup, guys. And I'm gonna show you, well, I'll show you over here first before we are done. We have, oh my God, the camera is so, it is my girlfriend. Say hi, don't hide. Love you. Love you too. So guys, we're back with the, is on? The Makeup Revolution Forever Flaws Fire Palette. Love the packaging really pretty palette i've used it before just had it in the drawer there another my favorite from halloween the haunted house this reminds me of the haunting on hill house doesn't it mm -hmm. we love that show best show ever on netflix and it's a really nice palette and um, so we have the another big palette here because it doesn't really fit in my other drawer this is the makeup revolution maxi reloaded palette such a beautiful palette um this is the big love i wanted to get the monster version of it with all the colors eventually but this is so pretty my girlfriend got this for me as a gift love you, love you too. i have used this palette like a few times and i love it so much and um, so the next thing I do, this is my makeup revolution snow white and the seven dwarves from pennies this is only a tenner this is a really pigmented palette and i've used it in a video again probably not going to use it much i don't really like palettes with just shimmers in them because i need like i need 
few mattes and shimmers so I don't have to reach for a thousand ones. Now this is Manny MUA's palette which is Life's Drag Lunar Beauty. Love the packaging and it's really really pretty but it's a very heavy palette, very thick but it is a nice palette. It came with a brush that I still have. It has Be A Queen on the mirror. I haven't used it that much but it is a nice palette. Um, yeah. I'm not really the biggest fan of um of some of the different palettes going around that like he has but the, he i mean his palettes are nice i'm just not a fan of some of them some of them i like and some of them i don't so yeah um it's just like that with everything anyway so um yeah so that is it for our video i just pulled my top and i hope you guys enjoyed my makeup room it's my beauty room that i'm going to be filming all my videos in and i hope you guys enjoyed the makeup collection and i love you guys lots and i'll see you guys in my next video oh please go and hit that big um subscribe button down below tap that bell to turn post notifications on so you never miss a video of mine again check me out on instagram i'll be having a lot more time to post things i'll explain later so i'll be posting more makeup videos vlogs everything and i'm gonna really throw myself into this and try and be a better influencer and yeah i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys